Oh, girl, there it is. They're rigging the ballot in Maine to sabotage Trump's campaign. Yes, they are. On Thursday, Maine Secretary of State Sheena Bellows removed former President Trump from the state's primary ballot, proving that Stephen King isn't their biggest lefty idiot. <laughs> the move, along with a similar one by the Colorado Supreme Court, is expected to be ruled on by the U.S. Supreme Court in the coming weeks, as soon as Judge Kavanaugh finishes his game of beer pong. <laughs> And last night, Bellows acknowledged she's in rare territory here while defending her decision. Check it out. I am so mindful, and I, I said this in my decision, uh, that it is unprecedented. No secretary of state has ever deprived a presidential candidate of ballot access based on Section 3 of the 14th Amendment. But no presidential candidate has ever engaged in insurrection and been disqualified under Section 3 of the 14th Amendment. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, come on. Translation of that clip. We've seen Biden's poll numbers, and we don't believe him when he says he can beat President Reagan. <laughs> Jimmy. But not all states are getting caught up in the calls to remove Trump from the primary ballots. Efforts in Minnesota and Michigan were unsuccessful. And on Thursday, California certified the list of candidates, which does include Trump. Oddly, also on the California ballot, these men. Yeah, they're not as shriveled as Joe and Bernie. Uh, <laughs> Florentine, I come to you first. Um, you kind of do look like a guy who stormed the Capitol, let's be honest, <laughs> which I love about you. Thank you. You're my buddy. Uh, but this is so brazenly political. And the reason I say that is he's not criminally being charged with insurrection. You want to know why? Because you can't overthrow the government if you're the guy in charge of the government at the time. <laughs> he was president. Was he overthrowing himself? And I thought you had to be found guilty of something in this country first. Yeah, no, no. No, it's not. It's like, okay, so CNN says it was an insurrection, so that means he's guilty. <laughs> yeah. No, it's absurd. And the thing is, again, to your point, because he wasn't charged or convicted of this crime, this is the equivalent of removing him from the ballot for something he did in your dream. You know what I'm saying? It's like there's, no, there's nothing to it. And even Gavin Newsom, who would, you know, said, yeah. no, this is illegal, yeah. let him be on the ballot. It's That's a good fair. point. And JB, that's Gavin Newsom coming out and saying that. Yeah, thank you, JB. That's California, a state that was so liberal they wanted to defund the cop and the village people. Okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> is, this, is this not proof? Is this not proof that this is just a partisan move, just a, a political kneecapping? I actually think it's great. It actually applies to my regular life. Like, any time I meet somebody in person, it's guilty until proven innocent. <laughs> <laughs> and it's true. And you have to prove to me that you're innocent. And so I guess that's, uh, that's what's happening with Trump. I've never been a juror. Mm -hmm. uh, before either, but um, <laughs> if I ever was a juror, I, I think that this would set an awful precedent, quite frankly, because you're right. He's never been convicted. He was never even charged with insurrection. So it's not up to these Democratic leaders, the senators and the governors, to make decisions as to whether or not he's been convicted or not of something that he was never actually charged on. Yep. Um, it is purely political, and Ted Cruz put it perfectly when he said that this is opening a Pandora's box, and if, God forbid, a Republican governor out there were to come forward and say, we want to take Joe Biden off of the ballot, what do you think would happen? Oh, yeah, no. It would be hell. You're I mean, it would absolutely be... Disenfranchising people. Yeah, yeah people are going to That die. would not be allowed. It would never get to the Supreme Court. Yeah. The fact that the Supreme Court has to deal with this BS, with all the other crap that's going on under this government, yeah. is ridiculous. I'm with JB. Uh, Kat, let me ask you this, okay? The argument here is they're trying to save democracy. Right. By destroying democracy. Uh, yeah. Is this not the equivalent of me protecting your house from an arsonist by burning it down? Kind of. <laughs> and, you know... Yeah, it's also one of these. Trump is a very rich, uh, powerful person with a hot wife <laughs> and like millions of people who are just devoted and love him. And with stuff like this, they managed to then t somehow turn that guy into a victim. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's the one card he should not be able to play, right? <laughs> but they, it, 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 we, they also know how much he loves to get up there at these rallies and talk about all the ways that the system is against him, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, do they not know that? That's clearly his favorite. They yeah. just added so much more time to his set. <laughs> like, <laughs>
And, and there's no way, obviously, as everyone said, that this is constitutional, that there's any legal justification for this. I mean, it's obviously absurd that they're saying they have to do it for democracy. Uh -huh. I think that for democracy, we're going to remove... You, you get to, that's the only have to vote for this one person <laughs> to save democracy. <laughs> it's all absurd, but I don't... Can he be unhappy about that? I doubt it. He's probably like, yes, more. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know? How do they not see that at this point? No, it's a great How point. How do they not see that? And Tyler, aren't they doing him a favor by taking him off the ballot in Maine? Because nobody wants to campaign in Maine. Let's well, be honest. It's also funny because everyone in Maine, just like me and my funny friend, have what I like to call resting January 6 face. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Bunch of lobstermen. But no, it's 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 more free press. He loves it, right? Yeah. Well, they've given me billions in press, right? <laughs> billions in free press, right? And now all the other of the Republicans, they're all saying. They're going to take their names off the ballot. Vivek, right? Vivek. <laughs> Ramaswamy. Ramesh, which sounds like a delicious Indian dish, right? I'll have the <laughs> Ramaswamy and more press. More press. <laughs> so, sir, you can't say that. You can't say that, sir. You can't say that. I just said it. I just yeah. said it. He loves it. Yeah, your Trump impression is so good, you're now on a government watch list. <laughs> <laughs> They're now monitoring my texts and tweets. I think Newsom said that because he wasn't going to win California anyway. Yeah. You know, yeah, unless he can get somehow get the homeless to vote. <laughs> yeah. Then he'd win by 20 million votes. <laughs> but it is true, right? And Kat made this point. It's just more ammo. He d d so do your contention would be Trump likes this? Oh, I think he absolutely loves it, honestly. I mean, yeah. he was on uh, Truth Social this afternoon tweeting, or what yeah. do you call it? Yeah. Truthing. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, he loved it. I mean, I, yeah. I do follow him, and he absolutely loves it. And, you know, the more that people start to come down on MAGA and mm. Trump, the more popular he gets. Yep. Biden is literally handing him the presidency yep. Yep. with the amount of bashing that he does on Trump. He needs to worry about himself and, like, just walking upstairs and, like, walking off stadium, <laughs> uh, podiums, and so forth like that. <laughs> and just like remembering how to read a cue card. I, I, I just love the idea that this is this is in material for Trump. Because if you've ever covered a Trump rally, as I have, they are the new Rocky Horror picture shows. In that <laughs> everyone there knows every word to the whole show. Yeah. Like they'll be like, "Bro, we can't go to the bathroom. They're about to do lock her up." Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <They're about to laughs> be back yeah. after this. <laughs> up next. His college said he's not allowed to show that he's well endowed. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.